Hello there dear viewer, thank you for joining me for another video where I have something very exciting to talk about. As you can see in front of me, I have the film Le Samurai, Jean-Pierre Melville's classic crime thriller which is just receiving a new 4K disc from the Criterion Collection. So I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on the brand new 4K disc and whether it is worth upgrading over the older Blu-ray. So before I get into talking about the disc itself and the 4K restoration, how it looks, etc, I'm going to talk a bit about the film itself and why I think it is so good and rightfully revered as a masterpiece. The film has a very basic premise. Delon plays a hired assassin who is meticulous at his job. He does it to perfection and he's a cool, calm individual who very much plays by the samurai code, you know, a code of honour. But after his latest job, which we see at the start of the film, the police then start to get on his tail and are pursuing him and the hunter becomes the hunted. It isn't a very elaborate story and it's one that we've seen in cinema time and time again, but it's here in this film that Melville is really doing something different with style. And it isn't style for style's sake. This is style and substance perfectly fused. I mentioned the code of honour that Delon's character adheres to. And that's very important because we see as the police are tailing him and trying to get closer to capturing him in the film, that they themselves don't really seem to be playing by any sort of rule book. It's the police that are kind of brutal and they seem like they are the criminals in this story. And that is ultimately why we root for Jeff Costello in this film. And Melville, throughout his career, he's had a lot to say about gangsters and policemen. But it's here in this film which I think it's perfectly balanced. And like I said, the style of the film, it seems so effortless. And it's something that went on to inspire so much of the neo-noir movement that would come after this film. Perhaps you're new to French cinema, you haven't dabbled too much here and there. Maybe you're familiar with the French New Wave, which had been going on in years prior to the release of this. This came out in 1967. But Melville himself was very much not part of the French New Wave. Some of the New Wave directors cite him as an inspiration because in his earlier films he used some location work and he was quite experimental at times, so they saw him as an inspiration. But he was one of the figures in French cinema who wasn't really a part of the movement. So the reason I bring up the French New Wave here is because a lot of people find that quite a hard entry point into French cinema when actually there is so much more than the French New Wave. So if this could perhaps be your first French film that you watch, it is definitely a worthy choice and I don't think you will be disappointed. With all of that said, let's get on to talking about this brand new release and how it compares to Criterion's older release. So this Blu-ray came out in 2017 and it itself was an upgrade of Criterion's older DVD release. A few years later it also got a Criterion UK release, so this has been available in both regions as the 4K release is getting released in both regions. In fact, it came out today in the US and this comes out next week in the UK. I was lucky enough to get an advanced copy to share with you and give you my thoughts. So the discs are exactly the same, so don't worry about whether you get the US 4K or the UK 4K. So the older Blu-ray was taken from an HD master, which proved a bit controversial in terms of colour timing. Other versions of that master around the world showed colours that skewed to green. So the, the overall image didn't really fit the film. Many people said it was unnaturally green. People didn't like it. So Criterion actually dialed that back when they released the Blu-ray release. Now, they actually dialed it too far because in my opinion, this Blu-ray looked too washed out. You know, the, the colours didn't look natural. People's faces looked a bit too pale. So this Blu-ray was perfectly watchable. But in terms of colours and an authentic look to the film, many people weren't happy with the final result. But now we fast forward to this year with this brand new release taken from a 4K restoration which Criterion helped with themselves in collaboration with Pathé in France. So there has been a French 4K release that came out recently and 
that is the same restoration that is used on the Criterion disc because the two companies worked together on it. And let me say I am very, very pleased with how the 4K restoration looks. In my opinion, it looks much better than how the older Criterion Blu-ray looks. First of all, they have paid much more attention to the colours in the film and how the film should look. They have now made it look much more natural. It doesn't look green, it doesn't look teal. It actually looks how I think the film should look. We see much more detail in the image and the older Blu-ray had quite a lot of detail anyway. It was quite sharp in that regards, but here it certainly looks much better. And compared to the washed out colors and contrast in the older Blu-ray, it's much better in the new disc. You know, the darker portions of the screen really do look more natural. They don't look gray, they look black, which is what we want. I don't have the French 4K disc to compare to this new disc. So I can only go off other opinions that I have seen online. What I have seen is that the French disc has a Dolby Vision HDR grade, whereas this is just a plain old HDR grade. So there's a difference there. Whether it makes much of a difference when you're looking at it, I can't tell because I've not seen that French disc. But for me, I was perfectly pleased with how this one looked. In terms of audio, I had no issues there as well. It's a mono audio track in French with subtitles. The special features included on the Blu-ray disc that is with the 4K release is exactly the same as this release. And in fact, the film itself that is included on the Blu-ray disc in the new package is the same as this one. So you will not find the new 4K restoration on the Blu-ray disc that is included here. And that's worth mentioning because I know there are many people who are not 4K ready yet, but they buy these sets in preparation to be future-proof. Well, on the Blu-ray disc, you're only going to be getting the old disc here. In terms of the special features, there's a few interviews with the filmmakers and then also some critics and film historians, which are enlightening. I've seen them many times before at this point, so none of that was new to me. I do wish there was more there in terms of the features. I would love to see some newly produced discussions, maybe get some other filmmakers in who have been inspired by these films, because I think there's so much to say about this film in particular, and it continues to have such an important impact on today's filmmakers. But as of yet, I don't think Criterion have added any extra special features to their 4K upgrades from Blu-ray. So that would be expecting something that is not the norm. So I can't really complain in that regard. Interestingly, they have gone with different artwork, which is something that they haven't done very much. It's something I've always said I wish they would do some new artwork because then there is at least some reason to keep both editions around. If the new disc had the same artwork as this there would literally be no reason to keep the older Blu-ray because it's included with the 4K. I truly think this is a masterpiece of cinema. I encourage everyone to go and check it out and if you aren't familiar with Melville yet you have so much ahead of you because he made so many great masterpieces, in my opinion. Some of them are also in the Criterion Collection, like Army of Shadows. There's also Le Cercle Rouge. This is a 4K disc as well. And if you can get your hands on it, the now out of print Leon Moran Priest. And there's Le Silence de la Mer as well, which I have somewhere. I just couldn't find it. On my shelf. You can also get some of his other films from some other labels, like for example Kino Lorber have done some of his films like Un Flick, which I think would actually make a great double bill with Le Samurai, because it has Delon himself, but this time on the other side of the law with the police. As I mentioned, this is available in the UK and the US, so hopefully no matter where you are, this should be fairly easy to get your hands on. I'll include some purchasing links in the description of this video, so if this video helped you, please use those links because it helps support this channel at no additional cost to you. If you'd like to watch more of my videos about the Criterion Collection, I'll include one on screen right now. Just click that and you can get some more recommendations from me. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.